Ooh, we got a knife. This is a very good house. Hey, what is up guys? Face Disgrace here. I am back with a new game. Well, it's not new, but I haven't done it on this channel yet, so it's new to the channel. This War of Mine. So a lot of you are probably wondering why haven't you posted Battlefield 1? Well, I wanted to. I played some yesterday, but I didn't record it. I was just trying to get a feel for it, and I tried to log back in today. And I can't connect to the servers, so once EA gets their stuff fixed, I'll have some gameplay out for you guys, but for now, this is a game that I've been wanting to do on this channel for a long, long time. It's definitely been an eye-opening game to me. I think it has a lot to say. Uh, it's kind of a take on war as a civilian, but I'm gonna stop talking about it. As always, guys, if you enjoy this, feel free to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, but let's get into it. So as you can see, it's kind of a unique art style, and it's very down low, sort of a, sort of a feeling game. It's not a happy go lucky feel fun game. This is one that makes that makes you want to think. And I enjoy playing games that make you think. I enjoy games that I can't just write off as you know helpful, harmless entertainment. I mean, there are there is a place for those games, and I do play those games. But on this channel, I like to do games that are a little bit deeper. So this is random start. So I don't know who I'm starting with, who they are, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, but let's get into this. Surrounded in the capital by the government military, the rebels refuse to surrender. Caught in the middle of the fighting with no running water or phones, struggling with a lack of food and medications are civilians. In a civil war, everyone is affected, one way or another. Roman used to fight for the rebels, but he became disillusioned and ran away. Erica... Excuse me. Erica came to the capital fleeing persecutions in her hometown. Bruno has been cut off by the siege from his home and his dearest friend. Homeless, on the run, and with nothing to lose but their lives, they band together to survive. Alright, so let's see. We got Bruno here. He's a good cook. Oh, that's him. This is Roman. He's trained in combat. And this is Erica, and she sneaks quietly. So you can see all these guys kind of have like their own place, their own strengths and weaknesses. So the first thing you want to do is kind of look for for supplies. So you want to get everybody here. Go dig through that and look for supplies. You look for supplies there. And I don't know. You look... Oh, she found stuff. Excellent. Yeah, okay, so we got sugar and building materials. That's great. We need stuff to build. Uh, I still haven't figured out where I want Roman to go. Basic items. This is all. This is all good stuff. So you kind of start out and you just, you don't really leave your home until you can get some supplies to build up and supplies to actually go over here. Go there. We're also going to get Erica to do that. Ooh, we got gun parts. So you don't really leave your home unless you absolutely have to. And eventually that happens. It happens sooner than later because there isn't many supplies in your starting in your starting home. Bruno, go check out these things. First things I need to do is kind of build a bed. A few beds. What is this? Oh, a lockpick. That's actually really good. Yeah, like I was saying, you want to you want to manage for supplies. Is there nothing to see in there? I guess there's not. All right. Well, let's see where else can I have him go? Is there a place? See, the last time I played this game since it's, it's kind of randomly generated your house and what you actually end up in. You go there. I want you to do that. Yeah, you can see. It is kind of randomly generated how generous your, your house is going to be. I'm going to go see. What do I need? I need to build. I need to build stuff. I'm going to have go Roman. I'm going to have Roman go build stuff while the other two are searching for more supplies. Almost done here. And then Erica can check whatever's in that cabinet. So the first thing you want to do is just get... Get beds because that will help with your morale. Get food. Make sure you guys, everybody's happy. Okay, awesome. So yeah, we want to make, want to make beds. What is this? Crude stove. I could make a stove. I want to make a bed though. I have some water, I think. So we're gonna make some bed. Yep. We're gonna make. Oh, where do we want this? There's a bed. Place the bed there, so now he's gonna be looking, he's gonna be going for that bed. Ooh, parts, that's great. And more gun parts. Ooh, we got a knife. This is a very good house. Having a weapon is really good just in case when you start leaving your house, you might run into people that aren't so friendly. We're lucky it's not cold in here. Correct, we are. What is this guy? Oh, he's building. Okay, Erica. I'm gonna have her run down there. 
I'm gonna have her make see if she can't make a shovel. I'm not sure if we have enough parts and stuff, but that'll help with getting rid of all this debris and stuff. Okay, yes. Erica, let's do this. Can I make a shovel? This is another workshop. Moonshine, you can make alcohol. Actually, some people, I guess some characters have like an addiction to alcohol and they need it. Uh, or they are, are not happy. We're gonna make this... We're gonna make it right there. I like having my workshops like all in one space. So that way I, I can just be like, all right, this is where the workshop stuff is. So everybody's making stuff. That's good. Let's just have him start digging through this stuff. You go check for more supplies. Awesome. So we got this. So now we can make a shovel if we had, we need more components. Okay, so hopefully there's some components in that. Please have some components. Food, that's good. And that you can use for trading. Which is, obviously, since we have all that stuff, we're just gonna trade. And there was actually an outlying for a pistol, so that's really good. I know it's taking so long without a shovel. Do we have any? No, we didn't get any components for shovel. Not cool, man. Not cool. Eventually, you wanna get a radio to help out with your with your people's morale because the morale will go down but I do I love this game it's fun but it also is very sobering in just the way that it makes you think about things it's locked I can't get in there are you serious man just okay well hmm I'm not sure what I want him to do oh good Eric oh fantastic yes yes Great, so I got lucky, so that got some some of the things that I needed to make a shovel, and a shovel makes stuff go so much faster. Make the shovel. So she's making that shovel, then I can have her go down here, and then I can, I'm just gonna leave Bruno there, because once I get the lock pick, if I remember correct, shovels are person specific, like if you have a shovel, then one person's holding on to it, so not everybody's gonna use the shovel when I tell them, so Erica's gonna have the shovel, and Obviously, you can move that around between people, but when I make a lock pick, then anybody gets access to it, so then he can just use that. That's great. Okay, now you use... make the lock pick. And let me see, our things. We have a shovel. Okay. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe everybody gets to just use it. So he's gonna use the shovel, am I right? Yes! Okay, never mind. So he's gonna use the shovel. This is good. This is very good, actually. Okay, now uh, Bruno, let's unlock this. Excellent. Start digging through that. He's gonna use the shovel too. It's locked, but my tools should do the trick. Fantastic. Do I have a crowbar? I need more parts for that. Oh, it became night. So when it becomes night, you can send people out to, you can send people out to, um, catch, get things from other, get things from other abandoned areas, and sometimes not so abandoned areas, that's part of the morality choice, but I'll get into that in later episodes, because I am going to do quite a bit of this playthrough, I do feel like this game has a lot to say, for now, I'm going to have him on guard, yep, so let's do that, I'm going to give her this, oh man, So normally you want somebody that has a bunch of backpack spaces, because the more backpack space that you have, the more stuff you can bring back home, which is really good because you run out of space quickly. And in the last game I had somebody that was a very good. Is it safe to go inside? I don't know. We don't have to go inside. We can just go here. Oh, so that red thing could be something moving. Shoot. Are they coming toward me? Or... I'm just going to take all these. I don't need that. Oh, just a mouse. Just a mouse. This game does kind of play with you like that. So this is the knight, and this is what you do. You can send one person out to scavenge. Oh, boy. Yes. Okay, we're gonna... Take that. So all that's all that's great. All that is very good. Does a lot more stuff. I'm gonna go see what's inside. Ooh, looks like a burning body in there. Might get some food, which would be good. I'm gonna check the fridge, see if we can't find food. Soon my people are gonna be hungry and you'll start seeing things like on, on their bottom. It's over there. Over there. That way. That way. 
they, they will start wanting to get some food. Okay. So that's a pretty good haul for one night, honestly. I was shocked that there was that much. So now we can just have her go. We, you, there, the, the run to exits are like a panic button. If you get in like a huge trouble or somebody finds you and stuff, then you can just kind of hit that and run as fast as you can to the exit and hope that you don't get shot, which does happen sometimes. So now Erica's going to come back and hopefully nobody attacked my settlement because it's not really fortified. I've kind of forgot you need to fortify your settlement. People will actually come and attack you during the night. Yeah, that's really good. Excellent. The night was calm. Bruno's starting to feel a bit unwell. Okay. Well, guys, that is this war of mine. So I'm going to be doing more of this. Feel free to hit that like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, maybe. Let me know what you guys think about this game. If you want to see more, I'm going to be doing a bit more of it. If you're curious and want, like, a full playthrough of this, I can always put more out. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of it, though. Uh, you can see Erica's hungry and tired already. Um, but, yeah. So my name is Face Disgrace. I hope you guys have a good one. I'll be talking a lot more about war and, and fun things like that. Fun things like war uh, in the next episode of this game. So feel free, again, share it with your friends if you want. I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out. What is this? Ayo Ferelis? I like, oh. Oh. Yeah, so that oh. We can move on. Nope, I'm not looking at it right now. You can't make me. Dis oh. Oh. <laughs> is that Ethan?